See, it's a lot of people that was kind of scared to put shit out there when it came to her. But she ran across the right one when it came to playing with my money. I don't play about my money. And I got kids. You feel me? Like, that's not right. That's not right at all. Then you sitting out there bragging about how you made 300K last year. You bragging about how much you made last year, 300K, but you ain't telling people like how you made that 300K. Yeah, you're going to have to get your stuff amended. It's a long process. It's going to be a whole bunch of stuff you're going to have to do. Like, you're going to have to do file it as a fraudulent, make a police support, all type of stuff. Like, you're going to have to call the IRS, get them her PTIN number, her first and her last name, because she lying telling people she ain't filing up on her name. Yes, she is, because your name all over my tax return. Your name all over my tax return. And on top of that, your PTI in it on the on the paper. So you can say you filing a fake PTI in, but I got all the proof for Drika. It's you and you the one filing it. You can't say you filed somebody else filed me, this, that, and the third. That's Kelp. Then she filed me ten she charged she was charging me ten thousand and six hundred some dollars to file my taxes. Then on top of that, they tried to amend it. Last thing that I want you guys to get from this before we go and look at the other receipts is that please, guys, do not fall prey to people boasting that they can get you guys $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 dollars back. I know times are tough. I've been there, guys. I've been there when I was tempted. Like when I was first building my company, like the first few years, not even first few years, honestly, guys, the first seven years of building my company, I struggled financially as well. I was getting a little bit $2,000 refund back, even with brand. And I, you know, I had to put the money back into my company and figure out how to feed my family and do all of those things. But one thing I didn't do was commit tax fraud, guys. I didn't inflate my refund. I didn't do any of that, okay? Even with the vast knowledge that I have and the capabilities to manipulate a tax return, I chose not to. Do not, you know, the, the, the way to make more money, guys, is to go out and hustle more, not try to wait around until tax time come and then manipulate federal documents.